Hey Gold fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to some more PGA Tour 2K23 gameplay here on the channel. Today I am going to be checking out The Golden Empire by CJ Wes. He is a designer whose course we did stumble across previously. I was that impressed that I've really got to check out his latest design which is The Golden Empire. So as you can see this is a par 72. Fairways and greens are farm, the green speed is medium, weather is overcast and the time of day is afternoon. Let's check out the course settings. There are one, two, three, four, five tee options. We will be playing from the black tees which are playing 7,207 yards and as always pin set number one. Now, thank you so much for the continued support on the channel. I do truly appreciate it. If you are new here, please make sure to smash the subscribe button. And if you are enjoying the content, please leave a like. So what a stunning looking opening hole. Waterfalls off there in the distance. Bunkers defending the fairway here. Let's try and take this down the left hand side. Hopefully we can carry that bunker with an overpower. We've got a four mile per hour wind into our face. It's a tiny fast, only 101% power. I think this should kick hard right though. And back into play. There is a member's bounce, a really nice kick to start off the day. And that is going to leave me 155 yards, up 13 feet. Certainly don't want to be on the right hand side of this pin. I'm just going to apply a little bit of top spin. The ball is going to shoot left at my feet. That wind should comfortably bring me back round as well. There is a perfect. Now this should get a nice firm kick. And this should set up a birdie opportunity. I think that's going to be an uphill putt turning from left to right. It's actually downhill. Green speeds are 141. This is going to turn from left to right. I think I've missed that on the right hand side. Oh, we have just misjudged that. That ball turned a little bit more than I gave it credit for. And that is going to be an opening par. So solid start to the round. Let's move on to hole number two. The game is taking its time here. There we go. But look at that. The waterfalls are right within touching distance now on the left hand side. This is a short par four. This is actually drivable. But what a set in here. The views really are stunning. Beautiful scenery. And this is a gorgeous hole. I'm going to try and shape this from right to left. Let's put a bit of draw on this. Try and land this at the front of the green. And see if we can give ourselves an eagle opportunity. There's a perfect. Come on, wind. Keep that ball to the right. This should kick left. And that is a glorious tee shot. Fantastic golf shot there, matching the scenery off the course. And this is going to be a downhill putt for Eagle, 41 feet. This is going to move from left to right. Just want to get this as close as I possibly can and walk away with birdie. Eagle would be a bonus here. That needs to go. I'll tell you what. I left that a fair bit short and we've got work to do here. This would be a disaster if I three putt par here. Surely it turns. It does turn. Good second putt. It is our first birdie of the day. And I do move to one under par. Hole number three. This is a par three. Elevated green. 190 yards. That is a tough pin, by the way. We've got an 8 mile per hour wind behind us, helping us all the way. So I'm going to come down to 7 iron. I'm just going to deal off this and apply full backspin. And I'm looking to land this at the front of the green, ideally on that upslope. And see if we can cannon this up there. It's a fast, but I did push my swing line slightly right. We found that slope, and that is a really good shot. Just a pity about that swing line. We are pin high. It's a 14 foot putt. This one is going to turn from right to left. It's got a chance. Oh no, that's really turned the last few feet. That is the second part of the round. I've just not judged the break as well as I could have. But look at the views of the waterfalls yet again. Really stunning course. And this is taking its time to, to load up. But hole number four. Elevated tee box. Plenty of bunkers in play here. 
but I'm just loving the look at this course, loving the variation as well so far. Let's take this down the centre off the fairway and hopefully this wind does turn me. Swinging well so far, just missing the perfect there. That ball does kick hard left and that is going to leave me another elevated approach shot into this fourth green, 107 yards up 10 feet. It's another tough pin location. This wind is going to help me out though. Let's go Sam Wedge, a little bit of top spin. The ball is going to shoot hard left at my feet. Let's see if we can get this one dialed in. It's another decent strike. It's tracking well. It's going to be a pin seeker. It is a pin seeker. We can it into the flag stick. It has kicked eight feet away. Pretty straightforward here for the birdie. Let's see if we can read this putt. Surely that turns. Yes, it does turn on the edge. I do pick up my second birdie of the round and we move to two under par. Well, number five, first of the par fives. 587 yards. Yeah, again, hazards in play. Let's take this down the right hand side of the fairway. That was a looser swing. Time and unswing line, but it is going to work out. This should kick hard right. It does exactly that. And this is going to be a green that we can probably reach into, but this is risky. Golf ball on a tee there. <laughs> Off in the distance. Let's go five with. I'm not sure if this is going to reach, but I would rather be short and long here with water and play. Going to try and shape this. Oh, it's a perfect, come on, turn, turn, turn. It needs to go, it needs to go. Yeah, that just comes up short. I needed another four or five yards carry in the air for that to have any chance of kicking on to the dance floor. But it's a good miss. Let's chip this one. Just gonna apply full backspin and let this run out up towards the pin and hopefully we can secure our third birdie of the round. It's a nice touch. This ball is going to run out. It's only going to get better here. It can check up any time now. Good chip shot. The short game in this game is far easier than EA Sports PGA Tour, in my opinion. Especially the chip in. But solid start to this round. We are three under. Can't complain at that. Hole number six. It is a downhill par three. 150 yards down 15 feet. Let's go pitching wedge here. I'm just going to apply a little bit of deal loft and a little bit of topspin. I'm going to try and land this at the front of the green and see if this will release out. It's a lovely strike, probably the best strike of the round so far, and it looks like we are going to be rewarded here. Surely this runs out. I expected a little bit more run out there, but it's going to be another birdie opportunity, this time from eight feet out. Just going left edge here. Oh, early. What is going on with my putting? I'm really under reading some of these putts. We could be four or five under. I should actually be four or five under. We are playing some good golf here. Long may it continue. Got to tidy up my putting. But hole number seven. It's another par five. Playing 570 yards. Just try to split the bunkers here. That's took a hard kick to the left hand side. It is an elevated green, 242 up 34 feet, 6 mile per hour winds. Bunker really defending this pin right at the front of the green. I'm going to try and play for the slope here. There is a little bit of a backboard, so full loft on this three wood. It's another lovely strike. How's our luck? It took a softest kick there. We are going to hold the green, but that's going to be a nasty pot, pin high. Downhill, right to left movement here. Let's see if we can get this one close. Giant golf ball on the tee. I'm sure that's what it's meant to represent. I could be wrong. This has actually got a chance. It was a good weight, just misjudged the read there. But it's going to be a tap in birdie. It does get me to four under. And so far, so good. But really enjoying the layout and the look at this golf course yet again by CJ Wes. Hole number eight, elevated tee. 
tiny slope. That is going to comfortably find the right-hand side of the fairway. Loving the views out with the course itself as well. Let's go 7-iron, full backspin into this wind. This should sit down right next to the flagstick with a good strike. Tiny slope. This is tracking really well. Oh, that needs to go, by the way. That needs to go. Yeah, that's came up short. That wind held me up a lot more than I expected. Probably applied too much backspin as well. So 26 feet uphill. This time left to right movement. The greens are massive here, by the way, on some of the holes. That should start to turn. That should start to turn. Have I hit it? Oh, early white. It's going to be one of these rounds on the greens. I've just got a feeling we remain at four under. And I think, arguably, I should be seven under here. But this is another short par four. I certainly don't want to get too close to that rocks. So let's shape this a little bit just to take a little bit of the yardage off. Tiny bit of drop. And let's try and play for the right-hand side of this fairway. Okay, we are starting to find the swing timing. Getting a lot closer to the perfects if I'm not hitting them this round. And we've played up into an ideal location here. Let's spin this back. Let's play this long past the pin and generate a little bit of backspin. If anything, I want to be left-hand side of the flag stick. It's a tiny fast. Now, this ball should comfortably spin back and hopefully towards the pin. That's a tremendous golf shot. And I don't think even I could miss this tap-in birdie putt. We do drain it right into the heart of the cup. Five under. Really enjoying this course so far. And look at the views here yet again. Love the light in here as well. I think we can carry this bunker with a five mile per hour wind comfortably. It's another perfect. Tell you what, that's a lot closer. It's a lot closer than I expected it to be. But that's going to be a huge drive, 360 yards, 93 yards in. Yeah, again, the pin right at the front of the green. Just applying full backspin here to the lob wedge. A little bit of loft. Going to surf the wind here. Try and land this short and let it find that slope next to the pin. Horrible eye at my feet. That's carried a little bit longer than I expected it to. But we have found the slope and that is working its way back. It's another good golf shot. We are pin high. This is breaking both ways here from 10 feet. Just going right edge. Definitely breaking more from right to left. It's a good read. It's a good putt. And it's a, another solid birdie on the scorecard. Six under. We move on to hole number 11. Water in play here. But loving the variation to the golf course. All the different shots I've had to play. It really is a fantastic looking golf course. Scorable as well if you are playing well. But nine irons a club here. It's a laser beam perfect. It's been a while since I've been able to say that. That needs to go. Oh, why, what a golf shot. Oh, that sat down instantly on the green. It's left me an uphill putt. Don't want to leave this one short. There's not much movement to it, to be fair. That's looking good if I've hit it, and I have hit it. And the birdie run continues. Three consecutive birdies. We do move to seven under par. Hole number 12, tight fairway here. Going to try and take this down the right-hand side. The wind is just picking up a little bit as well. As you can start to see, swing line, swing timing, really starting to improve now. Looks like I find my groove. Elevated green, 118 yards up 36 feet. That wind's going to be ideal, by the way. Sam Wedge is the ideal club. Just going to apply a little bit of top spin. I'm going to try and get the kick off the bank on the right-hand side. It's a tiny fast. That's taking me more to the left 
and I have missed my intended kick. And that's came up short. Looks a quiet green here though. 21 feet out. I've got the weight. Have I got the read? I've not got the weight early. What are you doing, man? It's another part of under hit. That's disappointing. Puts an end to the birdie run. I will remain at seven under. Hole number 13, third part of the round. Let's take this down the left-hand side. That wind is going to bring me from left to right and hold me up. Lovely strike. Like I say, swing line and swing timing has been a lot more consistent this round. And I think Freewood is just about going to get me there. Full loft. Let's play this into the wind. Loving the rock work off in the distance, by the way. It's a lovely strike. This needs to go, though. Yeah, that was a soft landing. It's going to be an uphill putt for Eagle. 41 feet out. But I could be wrong. I, I do think there was a, a fantasy cartoon series called The Golden Empire. And I'm sure The Golden Empire is uh, associated with Japan. I could be completely wrong. What an eagle putt that is. Didn't expect to hold that. And that really does improve my score. Fantastic eagle. That moves me to nine under par. We should be comfortably double digits under here. Really enjoying this round. This is a must play golf course. In my opinion, you can see the designer is getting better with each course, especially his planting and sculpting. There's no denying he is a very creative designer. And I am really happy with how my swing and swing timing is progressing in this round. Nine iron is the club here. Just a touch of backspin, playing the wind. It's a tiny fast, that is going to miss on the left-hand side. And that is going to work towards the pin, though. Pin high, yardage was bang on. Yardage control's been a lot better this round than previous rounds. Not that I play this game often now. Just a casual player who's loving finding new courses. So if anyone does have course recommendations, please hit me up. I am on social media. You can follow me on Twitter, you can join my Discord, or even leave a course recommendation in the comment section. This is the shortest par 3, I do believe, so far. Pitching wide should be good. Ah, it's a tiny slow. That's going to come up right now. Yardage was good as well. This is a nasty downhill putt, 24 feet out. Breaking both ways here. Just going to favour the left hand side of the cup. Just want to get this ball rolling. Find the vibration perfectly. Oh, it's a lip out. It is a lip out. I mean, I think I've had a birdie opportunity on, on every single hole now. And if my putting was a little bit better, I could be 13, 14 under here. But it is a game of what ifs. But this is such a tidy, neat looking golf course. Everything is clean. It really is attractive on the eye. There's a big slope. How on earth have I gotten away with that? I fully expected that ball to be way over to the right hand side. And I'm going to be in between clubs here. Can we go full top spin on this pitching wedge? No. Let's go nine iron. That's that's never reaching. Let's apply full off to this one. Ride the wind. And see if I can get this near the pin. It's a lovely, lovely strike. I'm short. I didn't really need all that um, loft. That was the main issue. 
Uh, wind was just kind of turning on me as well. Well, let's see if we can chip this one in. Disappointed with that. That's going to miss left-hand side with that fast, and it's going to come up short, but it's going to be a tap-in part. For me, the main thing about my round today is I've never looked like dropping a shot. I've really been in full control of the round in my game. We are 10 under. Let's see if we can finish at 11 or 12 under. I think the round deserves that. But hole number 17, the fourth and final par 5, and it really is exquisite. I just love the scenery and the views on each and every single tee shot here. For me, the lighting is absolutely fantastic. He really has nailed the lighting. Despite the, the long yardage there with the elevated tee shot, this hole isn't playing as long as it suggests. So let's try and draw this. I'm going to try and find the right-hand side off the green and play it up the slope. Oh, it's a tiny fast, and with that draw, that ball's turning more. This actually may run off the green. You could see what I was trying to do there. I wanted to be on the right-hand side of the flag, run it up the green, use the slope. But let's see if I can chip this in, or at the very least close for a tap-in birdie. It is uphill. It's got a chance, by the way, get in. Oh, it was a good effort. We are going to get to 11 under par. And we are going to move on to the final hole of this fantastic golf course, the Golden Empire. And it is a drivable par four. What a way to finish. Let's take this down the right-hand side. I managed to overpower it as well. It's going to leave me a long uphill putt. But it is going to be a birdie opportunity. Fantastic shot. The grandstands are loving it. Stand on ovation there. But this is a tough uphill putt. Certainly don't want to leave it short. This is going to turn from right to left. What a way to finish the round this would be. I don't think I've hit that firm enough, you know. No, left it short. It's going to be a pretty straightforward birdie. My best round in a while here. It is a 12 under. And I think that is a round of 60 it is. But what a fantastic golf course. Please get out there and play it. If you are new to the channel, guys, please make sure to smash the subscribe button. If you did enjoy the content, please make sure to leave a like. And until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.